Hello, I'm Anna Raimondi, and welcome to this episode of Mystical Mondays. I am so thrilled to be talking about my favorite season today, the Christmas season. It warms our hearts. It brings us joy. It is a season that I wish lasted the whole year because it's a season of profound love and hope. It's such a special time, isn't it? For everyone, it's my favorite. My favorite. I hope it's your favorite too. It's more than just a holiday. It's a magical season that has the power to bring us a little bit closer to each other and a little bit closer to God and show us what really and truly matters in life. It's a season that resonates with the human spirit. It's a time when profound love and hope converge to create an atmosphere of warmth and joy. It is a season that encourages us not only to receive love, but to give love and to participate in spreading love to others near and far. And so Christmas really is a celebration of love. It is a season that reminds us of the endless, boundless love that transcends time and space. We see the ultimate expression of this love in the story of the birth of Jesus. Jesus came to us to show us love. It began at his birth and it continues to today and will continue on to future generations. The nativity story teaches us about the depths of love, the importance of compassion and the power of kindness. It encourages us to extend that love and to freely give it without conditions. Now, isn't that important, without conditions? How many times do we put conditions on things? It is a season that is steeped in love. It's a season that brings families together, uniting generations and bridging differences. It is a time when we celebrate that warmth and love that comes from our dear ones near and far. These gatherings of people remind us of the power of family love, the love that supports and nurtures and unites us. It is the shared laughter around the dinner table and the warmth of hugs and the sharings of stories that we find the essence of love in its purest form. One of the most beautiful aspects of Christmas is the enduring nature of its traditions. I love Christmas traditions. I love it all. I love putting up my tree. I love decorating my house. I love on Christmas Eve, we do the Italian seven fishes. On Christmas day, we don't get dressed. We open up presents with our pajamas on and we eat at my dining room table, all set beautifully for the holidays with our pajamas on. Everybody has their traditions, whether it's baking or cooking certain food, it bridges our past. It brings forward the generations before us and creates memories for the generations that are with us. Think about it. Think about a warm embrace from a loved one. Think about the laughter around the dining room table. Think about those goofy Christmas sweaters, which I find hysterical. Um, think of all those moments. Think of Christmas past. Think of the happiness around the holidays. Leave out the other stuff. Leave out the chaos. Leave out the stress. You may even want to leave out some bad food. You know, whatever it is. And remember what you felt inside yourself. They remind us in a world that sometimes feels rushed and chaotic and broken, that we have these beautiful connections that ground us 
and make us truly alive. But Christmas isn't just limited to the love within our families, it extends to communities. It is a season that fosters unity and a sense of togetherness. Acts of goodwill and charity become more prevalent, emphasizing the importance of loving our neighbors, loving each other, and supporting people in need. It is a reminder that love is and can extend beyond our immediate circles, including those that may not celebrate the holiday, recognizing that we are all children of God and Christmas isn't limited. And so many people ask, well, what, what about this whole gift giving thing? The materialism of Christmas, what is it about? Gift giving is a tradition that's not really about the presence but the thought and love that go into them. Receiving and giving people you truly love something that you think will make them happy. When you select a gift for somebody, you shouldn't just buy anything because it's there. You should say, I know you. I care about what makes you happy. It's a beautiful way to show love, but it doesn't stop there. The Christmas season inspires us to look beyond ourselves and extend a helping hand to those in need. Again, whether it's volunteering at a shelter, donating to a charity, or simply being there for a friend who's going through a tough time. These acts of kindness shine brightly during Christmas. They're a reminder that even the smallest gestures can have a profound impact on someone's life. Because Christmas isn't always a happy season for people. There are people who are lonely, people that are sad, and those are the people we should reach out to, to bring our joy of the Christmas season to them. As we embrace the true spirit of Christmas, we ourselves embody that love and we become the bearers of love and of hope. We honor the essence of the season by actively contributing to the well being of others. Our actions, no matter how big or how small, may have the potential to profoundly impact the happiness and hope of those around us. And so as we navigate through this Christmas season and beyond, let us be the embodiment of love and hope. Let's extend our hands to those in need and share the warmth of our hearts and create a world where love and hope prevail. In doing so, we not only celebrate the essence of Christmas, but also leave an enduring legacy, a legacy that is characterized by love, hope, compassion, and commitment to making a positive difference in the world we live in. What else? Christmas, hope. It's about hope. It's at the end of the year. The start of a new year symbolizes fresh beginnings no matter what challenges we encounter, there's always hope for a brighter tomorrow. It's like a reset button for our spirits, a chance to embrace life with renewed optimism. And hope is a beacon that guides us through the darkest of times, the unwavering belief that brighter days are ahead and they are ahead. As the year draws to a close, Christmas provides us with an opportunity for reflection. It prompts us to look back on our lives, our choices, our goals. It encourages introspection, inviting us to rediscover our sense of purpose and our direction. I love Christmas. 
I love the love. I love that it embodies not only me, but other people. I hope it does the same for you. May your holidays be filled with profound love and the hope that the Christmas season represents and brings to us. I hope you can embrace the season's messages and let it guide your actions and attitudes and interactions throughout the year. I'm so happy I was able to bring this to you. Merry Christmas to you all, and may your lives forever be enriched by the love and hope that emanates from this extraordinary and magical time of the year. God bless.